It was 40 years ago this very day that the Buell building at Congress and Griswold was surrounded by police cars and fire trucks because of a deadly shooting and fire. And if you take a look down the street here, you'll see a gathering of people. And every 10 years, they all get together to remember that fateful and very sad day. 25-year-old Eve August died a terrible death June 11, 1982, murdered by a shotgun-wielding madman who also threw a Molotov cocktail at the wall trying to burn down the high-rise where she worked. May they be greeted with the choirs of angels and experience your eternal peace and joy. The pictures from that scene from the Local 4 archives, incredible. Terrified office workers chased by gunfire and flames onto windowsills as the building burned around them. Firefighters whose ladders weren't long enough to reach them, improvising spliced ladders to retrieve them. All of this explaining why several dozen more lives ended up forever changed that day. So Saturday, the survivors and those associated with the legal cases that followed prayed. Give us courage to seek wholeness in a fractured and divided world. Lou August is Eve's older brother. I think it's really looking back into the darkest moment of all of our lives. It was then 35-year-old Detroiter Robert Harrington who went to the 8th floor Buell Building offices of the Bell & Hudson Law Firm looking for a $2,500 insurance payment. It was, quite literally, in the mail. But because the money wasn't readily available, an impatient Harrington, who'd armed himself with a sawed-off shotgun and that Molotov cocktail, started shooting. She didn't just die. She died horrifically. And, uh, and, and I, you know, to, to remember Eve, I have to look through that. And, uh, you know, she, she and I were like two trees growing too close together. And uh, we both were seeking the same sun. And one day she was gone. Eve's younger brother Alex attended yesterday as well. What I miss the most of, you know, over the years is you know, the life that Eve didn't live. I mean, she was a wonderful sister and a great, great, uh, great big sister. Yet it was at Eve's funeral that Lou August met Detroit Police Detective Sergeant Tommy Robinson, who on his day off heard the call and went directly to the law offices arresting Harrington and his brother Gerald. This picture, the most famous image of that day, they agreed then to meet every year on the anniversary at the Buell, and they have. I am over, overwhelmed, over glad to see them because I wish we could have on, met on better circumstances, but as it was, the circumstances that happened is it caused us to have a relationship, which I'm very pleased with. He heard shots being fired. The door closed behind him. It was the middle of a fire. The, the elevator stopped working. And he had to face the gunman single-handedly in a burning skyscraper in an active shooter situation. I mean, the heroism there is just amazing.